Uh, I found a whole bunch of obsidian. Was that you? A whole bunch of obsidian. Like a f of obsidian and torches. A what ton? A butt ton of obsidian <laughs> and torches. Thank you. Um, yes, that was most likely me. Most okay, definitely. Okay, was this where you were trying likely. to go? Probably. I, I wish I knew where you were. Um, okay, let me try to get back to you. What is your location? Uh, back at the entrance. Okay, that doesn't help me. What is your location? Okay, uh... 350, 359. You went exploring his... Yes, I did! <laughs> there are gopher holes everywhere. So, all this obsidian is at 320, 330. Mm -hmm. And level 13. Or oh, 10. <laughs> it goes lower than that, and you have no idea. <laughs> oh, I can see. It goes yeah. directly into another pool of lava. I have exact idea. It actually goes to floor five. So... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I think I found kind of the way. That leads to a dead end. I'm trying to lead, just figure out a way to lead you down there. The only pickaxe I have is my... Okay, I think that's how you do it. What? So... Use the compass. Uh, that's all underwater. But you went this way. There you are. Go down that tunnel you're facing. Nope, turn around. Yeah. Left. We're down to the right. Oh, right. Wait, down? Wait, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Up. Okay, up. Down is the dead end. A three way split here. Um, One is clearly not it. Hold not on. Torched. Uh, go down. Hey, look, gravel. Or, nope. Yeah, gravel. Uh,. <laughs> There's torchlight down there, but there's torchlight up ahead. <clears throat> it's down. Ow! A lot of this is going to be going down. Um, I'm not sure how I did this safely. Yeah. No, that, I, I remember that little chest there for a mob spawner. This wasn't the way. No. You're literally right above the... Um, Obsidian area. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Whoop! Okay. Found one of my tunnels. Okay, so that's the obsidian. Damn it, screen's black. <clears throat> okay, so here's a tunnel here. I can see him on the minimap. Bedrock, cool. There's gold behind you. Getting into a de uh, dead end. Oh, here it is. It's it's somewhere in here, like under under here. It's all surrounded by bedrock, though. Copper. Really. Uh, well, at least that's what I'm seeing. Obviously, I can't... Um, here, let me do this. Knock out a couple of uh, Hold on. It's on floor three. I dug all around this just to figure out that I couldn't do it. Yep. Wow. Copper. 
<laughs> All right, so now what? Uh, now I can build a machine, I guess. I don't know where. <laughs> oh, this is where it's okay, going. Put... Okay, I see. Yep. Okay with this? You're all right with that? No, it's terrible. It looks awful. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Shut up. Um, oh, wait. We can't access it. I know. I have to put in staircases. Oh, okay. Dark oak. Dark oak staircases. Um, so this, this is going to be our dump chest where we just throw everything into. Nope. 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 Wait. Yep, that's what I want. Okay. So staircases. Now we can open them. Cool. Yes, it fuses through the staircases. So we're going to be using mechanism mod for this. And so we're going to be using a uh, lot. You have to use logic transporters, uh, transporter pipes. And those use, for the basic one, which we're going to be using, you have to have two steel ingots and a basic control or control circuit, which you have to uh, transform uh, osmium ingots in a metallurgic infuser. Those become basic control circuits. So you need two of the metal ingots and then one uh, basic control circuit to make uh, eight pipes. We're also going to be using a, a logistical sorter. Logistical sorters use uh, a piston, seven iron ingots, and a base control circuit, which I've already explained. So that what that is going to do is that sort. It's going to pump everything out of the box, and it's going to let us sort all the items. So we're actually going to be using multiples of those. So first thing we're going to do is Metal take... Uh, infuser in another video. So that's done. So we're going to take a logical sorter and put it on the box. That's going to pump everything out of the box. If you go inside of it, you can see some of the options. For this one, we're actually going to I'm set sure. it... <laughs> Access. Oh, it's set to public. Now try. It's me. Uh, I. Okay. It's set to public. You should be able to see it. Try it again. I do not have access, and I place a torch. Try that one. See if you have access to that one. No, I do not. Okay, so... Hold on. Here. So you can place that one and access it. So in the menu for this first one, we're going to go ahead and go to off. Set it to on. Hold on, Lamb. What? Yeah. Okay. Say that again. <laughs> So we're going to, in the settings. We're going to go to oh, and what we're going to do is basically eject everything. So anything we put in the box, it's going to push it out. Um, it's all we can uh, also turn single item on if we want to. If you want to throw a whole stack, but personally, I like throwing. I like throwing one at a time. It just kind of looks cooler. Where are you finding that in the filter? No, in the, well, yeah, in the filter side on the main screen, as soon as you go into it. So, single on, RR off, and auto on. Default, you can change the color, but you don't need to. Um, we'll get into the filter and the new filters in a little bit. Oh, okay. So, get rid of that. I need to get another one of those. I gave you mine. Huh. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come out of there with a pipe. 
we're gonna go up and up and up and up and up and up why is it going come over here and, oh so that you can put more of them along the walls are we just gonna use this one room or both rooms do you want to use both rooms do we need both rooms we can use both rooms. I was actually going to kind of split this room up, but what do you I want mean, to do? However you want to do it. I don't mind. It's your mansion, too. So, Mechanism uses a configurator tool oh. to configurate things. Maybe it is like the crayfish mod. What, what is that called? Configurator. Infused alloy, energy tablet, lapis lazuli, and a stick. See, I didn't really mess with this too much. You probably should have. Actually, it sucks. Shut up. Okay. Yes, we have access. Okay. Whoa. The heck? What? what? That was some really weird music. <clears throat> oh, crap. I think you're going to have to do one chest per. Yeah, but I didn't want to do that. I could do that, I guess. Yeah. And then you can put... Well, what happens if you put one of the, the logistical short, uh, sorters? It's, that doesn't do anything. It has to go through a pumping system. So. I put a sorter under there. Attached to this chest. Going down, hopefully. Into another chest. If I put it into the chest, it'll sense it's an output. Doesn't connect to that one. I see. Actually, no, that works. Huh. Okay. So yeah, lots of those things. <laughs> but how expensive were those again? Uh, logistical shorter sorter. I mean, not super expensive. No, not really. So yeah. That's your best route. Make a bunch of those and a bunch of tubes. Using osmium. A lot of osmium. Yep. Mine okay. your hearts out. We did. Ish. Clearly he's in creative mode now. So that's just to speed up the process. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Video. I mean. So... Oh! <clears throat> Now we will. I guess we can just go that route. Yes. Okay. It's fully powered. So step one: heat generator. Make sure. Oh, sure. Just. You know, I filled that thing with redstone, and now the redstone is still here. Okay. Never mind. I'm about to be really upset. I can't um, put redstone in it. That's because it's full. Um, anyway, so now put your or wait, no, hold on. Let me do that. <clears throat> ingots in there. Yep. Uh osmium ingots. 
<laughs> Wabam. So step one, heat generator. Oh wow, it's losing power really fast. <laughs> Which is this, this thing? thing? Out of, yep, so, it is. Planks, osmium ingot, furnace, two copper ingots, and then three iron ingots. The heat generator works on coal and charcoal. And then you need the metallurgic infuser, which I made first in another video. Wrong move. <laughs> so you need redstone and power connection to make osmium ingots into basic control circuits. And then you can start working on what we're working on. Eventually, you can uh, move that up. Iron. So you can also put iron in here, and it'll create. So if you things. put iron there, you get an oil. You mix that with the control circuit, and it makes an advanced control circuit. Oh God! What? I just got that got really expensive real quick. What did? <laughs> so. You take a base control circuit, mix it with two, two iron ingots, and you get the advanced. You oh, take yeah. the advanced, mix it with two reinforced alloys, which are infused alloys in diamond. Makes the reinforced. So you mix that two, and that makes an elite. Then you move up to the ultimate, which is refined obsidian. We'll not go that far. We'll just... There we go. Infused alloy. Really fast, made. though. Okay. So we go in here and set it to on, off, on. Actually, for these ones, we can set it to off, 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 on. You know why I think you have access and I don't? Why? Admin privileges. No, it can set to public. That's why I don't understand why you don't have access. I don't know. But you can access mine. I can't access yours, no matter what it's set to. Um, That's okay. Set. Okay, so... Access that one. Hmm. That's that went into survival thinking. Maybe. But so, yeah, so now what we can do is what. We're, shoot. Um, uh huh. I'm going to have to give you one of these. Okay. So, basically, what you do is you go into the menu, you click on new filter. You have a few options. Um, I'm going to go with item stack. And then you're going to put something in the top left fillable box. So for the first one, I'm going to put iron ore. Um, then you simply click save. And what that's going to do is that's going to say, okay, anytime it sees iron ore, just put it there or let it, let it through. You can do multiple filters, but I'm not going to. Um, item stack. This one I'm going to do copper ore. Next one I'm going to do gold. You can do pretty much anything. No wasted um, materials. Gunpowder. Oops. You have to make sure that you click save before you exit out. Otherwise, it won't save. Imagine that. Jeez. So for this one, let's put rotten flesh. You got this. Yep. This one, let's do bone, because that's what I have on hand. 
I can go through my rare I materials see. bag. That's a lot of materials. <laughs> seeds. Are we really worried about seeds? And then this one, this last one, I'm going to set the auto to on. So basically everything that doesn't go through these filters will drop into that box. On, on. Make sure all the lower ones are set to on for auto. That way it's going to fill the bottom box first. Once that's filled up, it will stop and fill the top box. And now what we simply do is put stuff in the box. I actually watch these go through. Okay. If it would work, then yes. So I have it pumping out of this first box. I have it going. So everything's pumping into this, this kind of de decision box, I guess. Um, pulling out of there is gunpowder, filtered gunpowder. Whatever's not gunpowder is going into this other pump, this other sorter. That sorter is, well, it's not really sorting, it's acting as a pump. So it's pulling everything else out of that box, putting it into this second box. What this sorter is reading the second box and saying, hey, does anything match the filter? If it matches the filter, it pulls it into this third box. If not, it holds it in the second box because there's nowhere else for it to go. Yeah, these are the buffer boxes, basically. Okay. So that's saying, hey, if there's anything in there or that matches, pull it through. And that one that you just put on the bottom is the one that... That's the, the final That's position. the actual sorter. Okay. That's the one with the filter, and yes. then the one up top is the empty auto like I'm just that's the one that just it says off. it's a pumper it just says hey keep going <clears throat> if you don't match any that one's the wrong way yeah that, <laughs> that one went in backwards yeah there you go so these are directional you so. gotta be careful yes <laughs> they are they're very hard to see when they're directional it's the way I'm doing it. You could always do. You could always put in the boxes and the pumps in order so that you don't have to worry about this issue. But I like to do things the hard way. That's SOTB. We all know this. I'm actually going to do that for this one now. That's. No, you don't right, have to be so creative then... for any of this. <laughs> yeah, these are the filters. I'm sure there's a much easier way to do this, but we don't know it. Right. One so way my first time with this. Oh, get away. <laughs> now it's actually emptying. Now you can double up. Yeah, that it's, fill, it's filling. Chest. It's filling into that first box. So then what we do is I can go in here to this first box. I actually I can't because I can't open it. Um. There we go. It's not going anywhere. Only because you haven't set the uh -huh. filters. Right. <laughs> yeah, where is that so guy? Let's go, go kill him real quick. Just around the corner. Yeah, he was around the corner. Yeah, he... he's outside. I see him. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you have anything good? Uh. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. What does he have? Uh, Eternal Vigilance, a sword that I would really Oops. love to have. All right. So, like I said before, we're going to add in all the filters. And then the last one, we are going to turn auto on so it puts everything in that last set of boxes. Um... This one we're going to turn auto on. Okay. I don't know. It was in my inventory. I don't know why. I never made it to biofuel. It's about to get really clicky. <laughs> Loud noises! There you go. So it's pumping into that last, that very last bottom box. Cool. Yeah, it is, and that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Man, that thing's loud. 
<laughs> and now what we'll do is we'll go boom. I'm going to put in things that I know are sorting. Okay. I just like the fact that you can actually watch the items go through. Yeah. So that one's going to keep going down until it gets to its sorting point. Or not. Oh, I don't think those are sorted. No, bone was not. That, those are. Was. Yep, there's gunpowder. Uh, apparently... Apparently iron is not in there. Did you do ingots or ore? I did... Iron ore. Okay. It's the first one. Huh. That is all the way down here on the end with copper and uh, hide. Or I also said copper ore. I thought I put copper in there. Yeah, you did. Copper is right here. I guess run it again? I, I don't think that'll change anything, but... It's supposed to go straight down, right? Yeah, it's supposed to go when it hits that second set of uh, that second box. It's supposed to. Nope. No. Nope. All the way down. Back here. Huh. Okay. Getting messed up. So clearly, this takes a lot of tinkering. So. <laughs> Gold works. Seeds worked. What was this filter? Leather didn't work. Gunpowder worked. Rotten flesh worked. That was the thing. Usually turn the rotten flesh Maybe. into leather. Let me, let me try this. Let me try to set these to single. That way it kind of slows them down. Want the biofuel. It Go says back. cycles between all connected inventories when sending item. Oh, boom. Oh, that's osium. Not iron. There. Iron, copper, gunpowder. No, those. Wait, those are iron ingots that you're that's sending. That's what I found in the box. Well, I found like three of them and I set my whole stack. But I did put the iron ore in there. Don't do that. <clears throat> huh. Those aren't even flashing. Okay, so let me try this. Let me turn that off. Go and run copper again. Okay. the copper. Yep. It takes so long. <laughs> it does. So then we can upgrade the pipes. It'll go faster. A lot faster. There it goes. That's so, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Hold on. Okay. So, what did you have to do different? It's going to. Uh, so basically, this is how you would do it. It's just being a pain. If it, yeah, if it were work. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's literally just being a pain right now. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to end this video here. We're going to play with this more. We'll let you know if we find any changes.